Happy Valentine's Day. Day. How, hi, Bob. Happy Valentine. So I came in here, right? Offered, First of all, offered you cookies. Okay. Well, I when I when Rudy I had them and they were good, huh? Yeah, but when I get offered a cookie, all mm-hmm. right, I look at the packaging first. Mm-hmm. And when they're on a, in a Ziploc bag. Because they're homemade. Bag, I didn't know that, though. They're in a Ziploc bag. Did and I going, say they were from home? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay. I didn't hear that. Okay. I did not hear that. All right. Number two, I don't like little designs on it. All right. So let a cookie be a cookie. No, because yeah, yeah. the design, the design no, no, no. is it's a kissy lips because it's kissy lips time of the month. No, whenever I'm at a comedy club, all right, and and I see, I see a comic. Thank you. Throw it at him. When I see a comic dressed all fancy on stage, I, I'm good, I don't trust you. it. Okay, like dressed in a suit. I don't, when they're fancy, I don't trust it. Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah. Suit. Jerry Seinfeld. Suit. That's when they do specials. Do you not trust them when they do specials? Only when they're not doing specials. Exactly. Oh, okay, that makes sense. All right. So I looked at the Ziploc bag. I saw, I saw these fancy designs on the circuit. And I, you know, I, my first impulse was, I don't trust it, right? But once she ate it, yeah. Jules, and said, they're good, I decided to have one. Too late. And I'm going to have one. Or Too late. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll show you how, the kind of power I have. You, see you don't have power? any power. Yeah. No, because they're going to get eaten by them. That's what they deserve. They deserve their cookies. And you don't get to be a spoiled brat and Andreas, boss people around to have Andreas. something. Andreas. Can you bring me a cookie, please? Don't bring him a cookie, dude. Don't do it. You're wor- He's working right now. Give me a cookie, please, or I will not continue. No, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. George? I will not I will not shoot this. Dude, you're a, such a brat. If you don't give me a cookie. Everyone's going to see how much of a brat All you right. are. I need a cookie. Thank you, Andreas. Thank you. Give it to me, and I'll give it to him. No. Give it to me. You Andres. know that, Andreas, if I don't get a cookie in my mouth, you know. Give it to me. If I don't get it right, dude, give me like, that cookie. If you give it to him, Andres, I'm not going to get a cookie. I made so, Andres, go, Give me the cookie. Both my parents equally. He yeah, loves yeah. his parents equally. Split it. Split it. Split Come it. Here. Split it. No, no, no. Give me the cookie. <laughs> You know, Andres, you know that I won't do it. You know that I will not do the podcast. George, give me a cookie right now. Uh, 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 oh, okay. All right, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing the podcast. All right? There's three in there now. All right, I'm going to eat all of this. Good. Pour and it in your mouth. smashed, it doesn't matter if they're smashed. Well, it's I easier win. to eat for your old I teeth. I win. Your old little brittle all teeth. Right. Pour it down your throat right now. <laughs> you like it? It's good though, isn't it? It's pretty good, yeah. But Happy Valentine's Day, Bob. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? White dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. I'm excited to have Valentine's Day with literally my two favorite people on earth. I don't want to put that in my yeah, mouth. Yeah. I don't know where that's been. Yeah. So H- um, happy Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. baby boy. Happy Valentine's Day to you. These did are you, delicious cookies. Did you do? Do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? Did you? Uh, it was. It was yesterday. Did you do anything yesterday for that's Valentine's some, Day? Yeah. Well, I did, and I got my girlfriend a bouquet of flowers. Really? Mm-hmm. What kind? I don't know yet because because <laughs> we're filming this before Valentine's <laughs> yeah, Day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet because. Do you have anything planned for Valentine's I do. Day? What is it? Because you can tell us now, they won't. She well, won't know I was until. playing. You know, you know, I like the video game Warzone. Yeah, you love Warzone. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I play with randoms. <laughs> what do you mean, like completely? No, you play with people that you're semi familiar with. People I've never met in the flesh, though. Right, but they become friends because of online. Yeah. So you, you're, 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 when you're in a war with somebody, yeah, I, I assume it's like that in the Vietnam War. Probably pretty similar. If yeah. If you were in the, a platoon with somebody, and yeah. you're, you know, all like the guys from Vietnam like were Gump, sitting like, in their boxers. Like when we're in Forest. Uh, 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 Bub- yeah, that guy, that guy, that Bubba. Guy, yeah. Bubba. Yeah. Remember his legs were blown off. Yeah, and Forrest Gump. I don't forgot his voice. I'll try it. Forrest Gump or Bubba? Yeah, I'll try, I'll try to do Forrest Gump. I- <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> How did he sound? No, Forrest was like. Oh, yeah, life you. is like say life is like life a box is of like a box, box of chocolate. chocolates. There you go. That's as close as you're gonna get. Yeah. So he said, Bubba. No, it, I'm doing. That. I know, but I, 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 when you're doing that with your lips, it automatically like a bubba like that. <laughs> <laughs> so stop doing that with your lips, right? All right, go ahead. Bubba, bubba. Yeah, and he's running, r- running, and he, he, he ran like 20 miles. Yeah. Grabbed him. Yeah. And it was just a carcass. Yeah, he's pick. Well, he was carrying him out. out yeah, it was of a the, carcass. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, back to Warzone about Valentine's Day. All right. So I play with randoms, and uh, we go into war, and um, there's this one guy named I don't know his last name. But his name is Alex. Very specific. Yeah. And um, 
he's under he actually in my phone. It's okay. It says Alex Warzone. Cool. Yeah. And um he does uh if I text him something, he immediately does it for me. Ugh, another slave. Yeah, and so I go to we, we got rid of slavery in this country a long time I know, ago. But I by love the way. it. Yeah. Yeah. And um I didn't vote on that to get rid of it. So uh, I'm still, you know what I mean? Well you were around back then. I know I was yeah. that's rude because of my age. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I, I text um, Alex, I need bouquet of flowers. He's always, what kind? This man lives in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, Okay. I don't know where he lives. I don't know what he looks like. <laughs> I don't know where he lives. I don't know what he looks like. I have no, if I saw him at a rave, right? What are, you doing at, what are you doing at a rave? I dancing. Oh, right. I dancing. Yeah. Right? So I have the glow <laughs> sticks, and if Alex, you know what I mean, glow stick next to me, I was like, what's your name? And he'd be like, dude, it's me, Alex. <laughs> And I would have to go specific. You got to go get more specific. He goes Warza, and then I'd be like, "Oh, thanks for all the little things." So he's gonna get me. He's got me face wash before. Okay, you just said give me face wash. Yeah, I text him face wash. Does he have your home address? Oh yeah, that's a bad idea. No, because he's friends with other friends, other people that you know online, Bobby. These aren't real friends. They don't know. You don't actually know these people. No, he's friends with people I've met in the flesh. Are you saying that to say that? No. My friend Gilbert takes kung fu classes with Alex. Okay. And I also play with Nick, the master kung fu guy. Okay, so right? these people so are he's real. He's a part of a dojo. He still knows where you live, yeah, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah. um, if I tell him, get me face wash, he'll, he'll, he'll deliver it to me. So he got you face wash, and then what? He's going to bu- he, get you a bouquet? Well, I, I don't know. I, I take, he goes, I'll get you the bouquet. Why don't you ask for more stuff? Does he ask for money ever? Oh, I have to give him money. So how do you deliver him the money? A Venmo? Venmo, yeah. So let's ask for a lot of stuff and then just be like, I can't Venmo you anymore because Kalila no, 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 will know. I, 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 need, I need guys like this. Because you, I, I don't go you to You just the get an assistant. I could do that. No, she's not. You would she, be a good, she barely she, likes me, this one. That's not true. You'd be a good assistant, wouldn't you? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> she just woke up from a nap, so don't even... Yeah. We're talking about not being able to like sell yourself at all. Like, you're, if, if this is a job interview... <laughs> I don't, I, I, yeah. Like, so are you, you interested really in the job? You really want this job at Home Depot? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> well, let's inter- interview. I'm going to interview yeah, right yeah, now for yeah. the position of Bobby's assistant, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see ahead. if you're, okay. Hi, thanks for coming in. I appreciate you coming in. You are a little bit late. Is there a reason for your tardiness? It was traffic. I'm sorry. Traffic, you should plan for that because Bobby also is someone that needs to be, uh, you know, uh, kept on schedule. So if you're wait, late, wait, can I, can I be he's going to be late. As well? You're in the room? During the interview? No, I'm not. I'm a different. Can I be a different guy? Yeah. All right. I'm I'll German. interview you afterwards. No, no, no. I want to be. Uh, we're because I want to be your assistant. Oh, you're with me. Yeah, I'm with you. <clears throat> okay, so, right, so let me introduce my assistant before I go any uh, any further. That's, my name is Jermaine. That's Jermaine. Hi, Jermaine. Nice to meet you. Hello. Uh, so uh, tell us, uh, do you have qualifications on being a personal assistant in any way? Um, I have a bachelor degree. Oh, you have a, oh, oh from what from what college? Um, Long Beach. Oh, Long, oh, Long Beach, Beach wow. State. State. Yeah, state? that's state. Yes. That's good. What's a bachelor degree? Um, what is it? Science, medicine. Oh, why do you want to be a personal assistant? Yeah. Um, I just want to have more experience. Mm. With... Have you heard of um the glorious, magnificent Bobby Lee? Oh, did you know yes, this man? Yes, I heard of him. And are you a fan of his? Yes. In what capacity? <laughs> um. What have you seen him in? I've seen him in. <laughs> well, he was on. Well, you know that he was on a show for eight years. <laughs> yes. What's the show called? Um, I'm blanking. Get out of get out of my <laughs> office. Get out of our office. You're fired. Wait, you don't fucking know the show. No, that I on know. You, I'm you just blanking. Shit? All right. You for, she forgets so much. Yeah. Why I've do you forget a, so much? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, she just woke up. I think that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, why, why are you taking a nap so late in the day? Because I had school and I need to... She's in high school. And I just she has to get up at 6 in the morning. I know, bro. But most of us from high school, my, I remember, I would nap in the in the afternoon. Yeah, I told her to do that. And then that. I'd be up all night long. Yeah, I told her to That's do that. That's what everybody does. Yeah. In fact, when I used to get home from high school, yeah. the Victoria's Secret would come in the mail. And I would steal it and I would go into my room. Your mom's? The, the magazine, yeah, the Victoria's Secret. I'd go, Is and it I would, your mom's? Well, it's not my dad's. It could be. It was my dad's. Okay. We were an open family. <laughs> yeah. I would steal it, I'd go upstairs, and I would jerk off, and I'd fall asleep. And then my mom, at one point, I would be falling asleep every single day. Why are these pages so st- stuck together? <laughs> would you say that? No, 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 I'd throw it away. She'd never get it. She never got them. It oh. never existed. She probably signed up for it and just never knew it. It didn't. It just never came for her. I, I, I subscribed to... Uh, I did. I came, but it never okay. came for her. And so she would literally come in the room, wake me up, and be like, why are you so tired? 
Yeah. Are you on drugs? Uh, That's what she'd say. Yeah, Are yeah. you on drugs? And now I was on drugs. Uh-huh. What drugs did you do in high school? Mostly weed. I mostly yeah. smoked weed. Yeah. And then I did. You don't, smoke, you don't smoke weed now that much, though. Not as much as I used to, no. Yeah, yeah, you know why? Why? Because I'm so tired already that if uh, I smoke weed, I can't even enjoy the weed. Right. I get exhausted when yeah, I smoke weed. Right. And she would say, you're on drugs. And I would say, no, but I was, but I was just tired from basketball and from high school. Uh, so, and I had come come all over my tongue. Did you get straight A's? No. I was a bad high schooler. What was it? What was your grade point average? A B's and C's. Oh. I don't know what my GPA was, B's and C's, but in college I did well. I had the third worst GPA in my high school. Uh, you know who had the first, the, the worst one? Tom DeLong. He had died my sophomore year. Tom DeLong died? No, no, no. What? The guy that had the worst? Yes. He died your sophomore year and yeah. he had the worst. He had the worst. What was his it, name? I forgot his name, but my Rest senior year, they, they, that's the reason why he was last. Oh, wow, they replaced. Yeah. What was your GPA? Like 0.0. Can you get an 0. 0. 0. 0.7? <laughs> you never got one passing grade? No. Never? Uh-uh. Wow. But it's not because you're stupid. It's a lack of effort. Yeah, and a- the Asians in my school were so angry at me. You were disappointing to them. Yeah, they would just, they would look at me like, they would come into class. You know, Asians, they they love classes. Okay, how, well, how exciting. They used to, you know, when she goes to school. No. Yeah, yeah oh, I no. know, but Asians love it. Other, they, they have their notebooks, they have their Asians, calculators yeah. and their abacus and everything. Yeah. You know, they use their, the real quick, the abacus, right? 40, 46. And they're just, you know what I mean? But when they, when they used to see me, they just go. You would disappoint the whole yeah. Asian community? Yeah. Do, what do you, what, do you never went back for a high school reunion? They never invited me. That's so sad. What, can we find me. out when it is and have you go this year? I would love, I mean, I did get so... This is interesting. Let's do like a Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion, but me and you go back to I your high. That would be so fucking fun to we film. Do a live podcast there. Oh my god, be fun! We should do that, dude. Yeah, but I I got a um, text yesterday from a lady by the name of Megan Lee. Yeah, I and don't know who that is. I'm going to tell you. Oh, okay. I thought you said it as if it's someone I know. No, I'm going to fucking tell you. I'm ready. God. Yeah. So, um, I used to work at a restaurant. Did you know that? In San Diego, yeah, we told yeah, the yeah. story, yeah. And yeah, so she owns a restaurant, and um, she texted me, and I'm gonna do it. She goes, "I'm doing a 30 year reunion for my my original like wait staff, which was me." When it, so the restaurant opened, and you were one of the first. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, and uh, and then I got fired because I th- I spilled red wine on the lawyer. Perfect. The lawyer of Megan Lee, he came in with his wife, and I had Chard- not red Chardonnay. Um, I had um, Merlot, <laughs> right? Yeah. Is Merlot red? Uh, yes, yes. So, I'm just the yeah. vision is in my head and of you yeah, spilling so wine. I, I had a ponytail to remember, <laughs> right? Long ponytail, <laughs> and you know the cork. Yeah, I couldn't get it. Like you know how you stick the thing in and yep. it starts crumbling. Mm-hmm. You fuck it up. Yeah, you fucked it up. Right. So I was then I was digging. Yeah. You know how you take the cork and you start digging. I don't do that, but right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You did. I didn't twist. No, you just. Yeah, I dug. You're trying to just yeah, yeah, yeah. mole man out. So a cork? I'm now trying to mole it out, right? Yeah. And then I finally got some of it on, and I went like this, and it shh, it's and sprayed all over his wh- white shirt. Oh my god! Yeah, I was, he... you know, I'm so sorry. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then like I'm busing for the next six months. And then she finally wants you back in her I, realm. I, I came back. So what's the deal though? Thirty year reunion. Yeah. So she, I, and I said I'll be there, and she goes, "Yeah, bet you bet your bottom dollar." You know how white people just say that? Yeah, you bet your you bottom bet dollar. You bet your bottom dollar. You will. Yeah. And I go fuck yeah, man. I don't know what that means. Are you really gonna go? I want to. That's a no. No, I want to. I'll tell you why. Because she was the one that was like, um, I remember um, uh, going, hey, I have a show tomorrow night. Can I leave early? Can I not even come? Oh. And she would be like, it's your dream, so go ahead. That's so nice. Yeah, so she was like really cool. Why'd way. you say white if her name is Amy Lee? She Megan white? Lee. Megan Lee. She's white. There are some, look, Robert E. Lee was white. He was? <laughs> yeah, man. I thought a confederate he was... general. He was a confederate general, right? That's the good side or the bad side. I don't remember. I think it was the bad. But confederates, I thought were the good guys. No, the confederates were stars bad. and straps and stripes, uh, pal. No, he was white. There's no Asian guy that's a confederate fucking guy. How funny guy. if there was one confederate oh, Asian? Been, I would love to be that guy. They're like, what? Do, what do we love? He's like yeah. slavery. <laughs> Dude, a Confederate Asian would be a, a, oh an Asian God. Confederate. That would that's the movie we should write for you. Yeah, is the only Asian Confederate. Yeah, holy fuck, how funny! 
What's the name of this guy? This Asian <laughs> Confederate soldier. Robert E. Lee. This oh Robert E. Lee. Yeah, yeah. The real the story. The real story. The real Robert yeah, yeah, E. Lee. Yeah. Well, yeah, that Wait. would never happen because no one would even. I'm not gonna fucking follow your order, Chank. Pick the cotton faster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, god. oh my god. That's a movie I would love to go oh, watch. Oh yeah, yeah. He's just confused. Yeah. He doesn't really know. He's he stuck. Know. He's stuck in a in a weird he was born and raised there. Yeah. His no, whole, no, he can't. He has the accent. No, he's he was born the mom popped and then they disappeared. Parents yeah. left him. You well, have to take if, care of him. What if they what if, mm -hmm. right? What if this happened, right? <laughs> he comes from China. Right. right? So that you know, I, I always assumed like when Chinese people back in the day, right, came here, they gave them options. Oh right! right. So, so yeah. uh, you listen, mean, listen here, listen here, man. China boy, Laundr laundromat, opium den, opium den, right. railroads, railroads, or <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean Confederate? You know what I mean? Confederate soldier. soldier. So what you want to do? Well, yeah, yeah. And, and he's like, uh, what is, what, what is, what is Confederate soldier? You love America? What, what, what did that involve? What well, do you love America? I love it. You're <laughs> perfect for the job. Wow. We got ourselves Wang Lee over here. <laughs> Robert, Robert E. Lee. Yeah, yeah. Robert E. Lee, the story of the only Asian Confederate soldier, would be a fucking smash that online. Would, yeah, it would, it would uh, think we could ruin sell that? my career. Honestly? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, but at what point could comedians make a movie that's so over the top like that? Yeah. That you might be able to, it might be okay because it's absurd. If you're making fun of the Confederacy. It's so funny to even talking about this, you know, yeah. because, you know, this type of comedy... These bits, right? Yeah. 10, 15 years ago, it's a no brainer. Oh, it's so, it's, yeah, everyone's It's a in. no brainer. Now people are like, yeah, but now, you can't say even that. Even by doing, because we're playing characters and we're doing yes. a bit, right? We're making fun of the I thing. I know, but when we're doing it though, yeah. right? There's this thing that comes up in my mind. Yeah. Of an, an editor. I have an editor in my mind. Yeah, somebody going, and it's going, cut. Yeah, yeah, cut, cut. cut yeah, cut, cut. cut. Stop. Yeah, but some of it, look, if we can't make fun of those ridiculous scenarios, yeah. come on. You know, did Rudy like it? She doesn't get it. Yes. No, she does. She's smarter than you give her credit for. <laughs> by, by the way, your Grateful Dead presentation last week. It was a hit. Smash. <laughs> you know how many deadheads are on your jock now? Yeah. People think you are, people think you're part of the clique. What are you going to do for Valentine's? I mean, what, what, what I is- I got a huge, you know, I have a big thing planned at the house. Like what? I have I hired a, a pony to come to the house and, and be in the backyard because my dog loves ponies, and I'm I have a, po a a pony to come to the to the house to play with the dog. Uh, uh, honestly, yes, I've, I've never even seen a pony. What do they look like? They're tiny little horses. Mm -hmm. They're tiny little horses, and I'm and I paid. It was a, quite expensive to be honest with you. It was a thousand dollars an hour. Who rides it? Like Brad Williams? <laughs> <laughs> I would love yeah. to see Brad Williams ride ride, ride one. We should buy him a pony. Yeah. He has one. Have you seen his dog? His yeah. dog goes up to his head. It's hu He's a huge well, big dog. He could ride that then. He has. I've seen him get on it. Oh, really? Yeah. No, are you being real? I'm, I swear to God in my life, he can yeah. get on the back of his dog. I would think that uh, you know, a little person could ride like- you A know, Great maybe, Dane. A Great Dane or a, even a um, even a Rottweiler. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they're maybe. so ha aggressive. Yeah. What's I mean, the, it would be more like a bull. What about the Beethoven? What dog is that? A St. Bernard? Is that what uh, that is? Yeah. That's what they could ride in because they're sweet and cuddly. Yeah, I think I would ride. I wish I was small in that way. You are fact, no, relatively I, right. You're not a big guy. But I've. What are you saying? You're five four five. Yeah, what five four? How tall are you? Five four. Yeah, you're five yeah, four. How tall are you? Six one. Are you really? I'm a full man. Uh, <laughs> Size twelve shoe. Well, no, I finished. When you look at me, I finished growing. <laughs> I know, but when you look at me, yeah. Does that? I mean, because I don't know what it's like. Cartoon character is what I think. When I look at you, I think this is a cartoon that came to life. Now it, you're being real, but in a beautiful way. I'm yeah, in love yeah. with you. But you think that <laughs> every time I see you. Wow. I go, Mike because, Judge. Mike Judge made that. Where, where do I come to your chest in terms of? Do I come to your shoulder? Right, you uh, genuinely? Yeah. You're right at here length. So I can't imagine walking into a room and working with a guy that small. But right. then, uh, but let's have one. Let's. Do you want to get a guy in here that is that small? We should get another person in here who's tinier than all of us. Yeah. I guess because I've been this size for so long that you just get used to. When it. did you peak? High school, and then you hit your. That's how tall you I'm were always going to be. Seventeen, and then it stopped. Really? Yeah. It's it's weird because you well, you know you're not going to get that big as an Asian man, right? You know you're not going to. There's. Well, that's not true. Yes, it is. The the ones that like Yao Ming and those guys, those are they were made in a lab. 
Asians, there's never been, bro, the, in the bro, history of Asians, there hasn't been one over six feet tall as soon as, organically. As soon as Asians were introduced to Western diets, it yeah. grew exponentially. Still, though, you haven't kept... Mo- if, you, if you go to... Under six feet still. No. If I go to Korea, they look down on me and go, oh, you're some more. <laughs> you know R- what I mean? Really? Oh, yeah. You're tiny to them. Yeah, and they bump me. Are Koreans... If I'm walking down the street, they literally... They'll, they'll check on me. Are they the most aggressive of the Asians? What do you know? The Japanese were the most aggressive. See, they seem, but publicly they seem the most um, pensive well, we, and polite. It, well, once you throw a nuclear bomb on somebody, it, they, right. they, it tames them. Yeah, you see, yeah, sit down. Because they were aggressive. Sit down. That's what we said. <laughs> I know. They were aggressive, right? Up until then. Oh, my God. They took over the Philippines. They took over Korea. They took everywhere. Right. right? And um, Emperor Hirohito, he thought he was a sun god. Why, why wouldn't he? Why couldn't he be, though? Because I don't know what what is a sun god. Obviously, God spoke to him and told him he was special. No, but he thinks they thought he was a god. Probably. No, you don't think so. No, because a god, a, actual god. If you throw two nuclear bombs, you'd be like, oh, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a nothing. Yeah. that's like a mosquito bite. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But he was like, oh, we're sorry. He was panicked. Yeah, yeah. we surrender. Do you think gods walk among, amongst us? Like, do you think we have gods that walk amongst us on earth? Like, how about this? How about, how, I'll give you a better, That's do you think Gandhi, do you think Gandhi was a god? No. No? No. You think there's only one god? Well, I, I don't know. I, I've, I think I've heard things about Gandhi later in life. Like, he doesn't tip well. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> no, I'm being real. <laughs> no, I'm being real. There was like some rumor about him. They caught him cheating at backgammon one time in 1982. Yeah, yeah. He was at Commerce Casino. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <He> was, <laughs> no, no, but... <laughs> Babel. Oh, oh God! In case you don't speak, si molto bene. E, uh, 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 ciao bella. I'm learning Italian right now via Babel. Is it going well? I'm too dumb. What was that? I'm working on it. That's Italian. Italian. Oh, yeah, you, I'm learning it was Italian. So good. Si molto you bene. Look, bon, bon. Uh, 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 pre, <laughs> bon prego, prego, prego. Anyway, um, you know, Andrew knows that word because of the Babel app. Actually, I am. I am genuinely learning it on Babel. Babel is 15 minute lessons uh, to make the perfect way to learn a language on the go. All right. Yeah. It's easy. It's super, super easy. I want to learn Russian. You do? Yeah, because uh, I love spas. Oh, yeah. Russian yeah, spas yeah. are so Russian nice. Spas, yeah. right and they way. stab each other in there. It's great. They hit them with leaves, right? Yeah, they hit yeah, them with yeah. uh, palm fronds. Yeah. Uh, Babbel designs their courses with practical, real-world conversations in mind. All right? You have to use like them every day. They're like 15-minute lessons that make it a perfect way to learn a new language. Yeah, they're created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. All right? Scientists said, yeah, this works. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, si. Italian, oui. and Germany. Si. And Germ- Germany. Yeah. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. Be- Bobby, say Calabrese. Calabrese. Perfect. You got it. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel sub- subscription, I'm learning that word. Subscription? Yeah, yeah. Look at Subscription. me. Subscription. Subscription. Yeah, I'm learning it. You got it. And you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use the promo code Bad Friends. That's B A B B E L dot com code Bad Friends for an extra three months free. Babbel. Language, Language for life. life. Liquid, Liquid IV. IV. Oh, this is my favorite. You know, water is just kind of like boring. You know, boring. <laughs> right. But I love Liquid IV, right? I do because too. I, w- I want to party in my mouth. I want to party in my mouth. Yeah. And some of my, my favorite flavor, I love apple pie. That's baby. my favorite. It's so delicious. It's really good. I love it. It tastes like an apple pie if you yeah, like yeah, apple pie. Yeah. Uh, look, if you are looking to uh, get through fatigued days. Yeah, most half America, they, they report that they struggle with the daily fatigue. They do. Signs include de- decreased focus, lack of motivation, poor mood, and unhappiness. Yeah. And Liquid IV Energy Multiplier, you can upgrade your vibe and reach your constant state of awesome. Yeah. Um, they have a variety of flavors that I yeah. really enjoy. A bunch of different flavors. And um, they also have a, one that helps you go to sleep as well. Yes, the and nighttime I use that, one. It really does work. You do well. like that. Yeah. The They have premium matcha and green energy blend. Tastes very, very good. Mm-hmm. And it gives you a little boost throughout the day. A little, Just a little tiny boost. And, and it's t- technology here that we're talking about, right? Enhanced rapid absorption into the bloodstream gives you a lasting energy fast. Right, and it still doesn't have the crash like you get from coffee, which yeah. is uh, which is good. That cellular transport technology, CTT, it delivers uh, an optional 
an optional ratio of nutrients for more efficient of an uptake. They're on a mission to possibly change the world. Mm -hmm. They've been donating too, Bob. 10 million yeah. servings globally uh, yeah. in response to the Rona. 4 million <laughs> products have been donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, and veterans. Yeah. Get your energy liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you get go to liquid IV. Dot com and use bad friends at checkout. Use that code bad friends at checkout. 25% off anything you order when you use the promo code bad friends at liquidiv.com. Start fueling your adventure today at liquidiv.com. Promo code bad friends. Bad friends. Bad friends has been imperative to my well being. Um, imperative, Bobby, it's like really important, like critical. Congratulations on your anniversary. You guys make me laugh and you guys like just brighten up my day. So I love all of you. And, uh, Fancy B. This show means so much to me because I actually met my best friend during March of 2020 because of Bad Friends. And you guys have been very special. You guys helped me get through a very, very hard time. And, you know, I know it's not a one-man team. Shout out Fancy B. Shout out Rudy. Shout out George. Yeah, I love you guys. Bad Friends has been the best thing that has happened this year. It's the reason um, I haven't killed myself this year. This is what bad friends has meant to me in the past year. It's like putting this, this, this weird fork thing in my throat. Is it stupid? Yeah. But is it fun to watch? Oh, absolutely. You know my story with Deepak Chopra, have I told you? No. I've never told you about my no, Deepak Chopra. No, you, right. ha you have an interaction with Chopra? There is there is a little bit of an interaction. Not not fully. I've never met the man. Sure. But I my my life has kind of... For a second, what happened? Revolve around what him. happened. So, um, you know who Jason Galern is, the comedian. Yeah, yeah, of course. So i I used to walk around the comedy store with boils on my face. Mm. What? What do you mean, pimples? They were just bigger than pimples. Like these, my mom gets on her on her head. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get them on my face. You have to get lasered off or whatever. No, I would do a home remedy. What was your remedy? Which which would fuck my face up even more. What was the remedy? I didn't know what to do because I had no money, right, when I was a young comic. So and I would get these gigantic boils. So what I would do is I would go and buy go to seven eleven. Uh uh. Yes. Yeah. And I would buy ice cubes. Yeah. You're right? So I'd take a bag of ice cubes, mm -hmm. right? And I'd go to the bathtub in my little apartment in Silver Lake. Yeah. Right? And I would take hot water and pour like, you know, like the faucets here, and I'd put my face over it and it would Steam it, right? And then I would take ice cubes and then freeze it. Oh my! And I would God. do that repetitively, and eventually, what happens? A white head would form, and then you'd pop. And it. I would pop it. It would just be Niagara Falls. It would spray out of my face. So I was getting these boils on my face, and I used to hang out at the store. Yeah, like that. Just yeah, boil face, Bob. Boil you know face. I mean? B yeah, yeah. BFB. And one time, Jason Galern goes, "Man, you look like shit." <laughs> <laughs> and he's not a male model. <laughs> I know. I mean, you look like you're stressed out. Yeah. I go, yeah, I can't get anything going, man. I can't get an agent. You know, I'm just stressed out. I have no money. I don't know future. You know Pre-Mad I mean? TV. Way, but yeah, yeah, before. He goes, two words for you, bud. I go, what? He goes, Deepak Chopra. <laughs> what? Yeah. Deepak Chopra is all he said. Yeah. I go, what is that? I thought it was a food. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sounds like, like I don't have food. the money. You know what I mean? To go to that <laughs> restaurant or whatever. And so um, he goes, yeah, In the at that time, at the Rolling Stone magazines, at, he wasn't on the cover, but there was an article about him. In Rolling Stone. Yeah, so he goes, go buy the Rolling Stones and read this article. Right. Right? So um, I uh, I go to the 7-Eleven. I think I steal one. Oh, that sounds about right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I read the article. And I go, I, I can't get any of these books. I have no money, right? Mm -hmm. So a miracle happened. I'm, I'm not kidding you. Okay, oh, what? So, so I used to, I prayed about it that week. So then that weekend. You prayed to God, get me. Yeah, get me. Deepak Chopra's books. books. Right. So then that weekend, I was, you know how, in if you lived in Hollywood and you were a doorman back then, you could open sometimes on the weekends sure. in La Jolla. Right. So I was hosting for Tamayo Atsuki. Nope. Yeah, you don't know her? No. Please don't do that. She eats cats. Oh. <laughs> Friend of the pod. <laughs> yeah. Is she alive still? Well, so I have this. So, so Tomoya Atsuki. Is she alive? 
Yeah. Shout her out then. Tamayo, hope What's you're up, good. Tamayo? So hope um, the feline feast is sushi. good. Tamayo Atsuki used to date Sam Kinison. Oh, that makes sense. Right? The cat eating thing. Yeah, and she used now. to wear a kimono on stage. She was like, you know, in terms of Asians, like one of the first Asian female comics, way before Margaret. Yeah, well, this has to be. Have you ever seen photos of her at the store, like in the like, I, yearbook I've seen those photos. Yeah. I thought that and was. she has a neon light in the OR. Oh, she does. Yeah, so this is Tamayo Atsuki, right? Yeah. So that she, used to, she was on a sitcom. Which one? I forgot what it was called. It was canceled right away. But she used to date Sam Kinison. Yeah. And then um, she went crazy, and then she started living in the jungles of Hawaii. Oh, cool. Right? And then one time, years later, I don't know how long, she, she, I saw her, and she looked like, she didn't look good. Like she was dying. Like she looked homeless. Like the cats had caught up and to she, her. No, and she goes, I live in Hawaii now. I go, really? That's nice. <laughs> no, I live in the jungle. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> so I go, you live in the jungle? Yeah, and she showed me for, I eat cat. <laughs> 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 right? Yeah. I don't know if she was being real or no, not. No, she's being real. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's being real. And she, you could see a, like a hut that she had made mm -hmm. in the middle of the jungle, mm -hmm. right? And she had some sort of like makeshift um, rock table that uh -huh. she had made. Yeah. And there was like sliced up little meats. <laughs> 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 she go, I eat the cat. cat right? And I cat go, paw, cat you want to go up? <laughs> you know what I mean? But so, um, so I was opening for Tamayo. Yeah. So after, right? So I'm on stage. I'm on stage and I, I look down and there's this white chick in the front row. Yeah. And she's just like, look at me like this, right? Like she's going to kill you. And I, no, I knew her. Oh, but I it couldn't like really remember how, because you know I grew up in San Diego, right? So yes. Then I look, I go, Katie. She she go, and it was a girl that I used to work with, named okay. Katie. Okay. So after the show, I go, What are you doing? And that boils on my face. She's like, You look like shit. <laughs> and she goes, Um, <laughs> I work. I'm Deepak Chopra's assistant. Shut the fuck no. up. Really. Mm -hmm. So did, I go. Did you almost start crying? I would have started. Yeah, crying. yeah, yeah. I was like, it, something was happening. Yeah. Right. So I was getting like goosebumps. Of course. The whole thing, right? Of course. And I go, um, you, he lives here. She goes, yeah, come on by hmm. tomorrow. It was like right down the street. The it's Deepak same. Chopra oh, is no longer there. Right. But there used to be a Deepak Chopra learning center there. Uh huh. Right. Uh huh. So the next day, I, I go over there, and she just handed me a bunch of books. Just take it. Shut up. Right? So I take it. So this is really, and, this, and people are going to make fun of me for this, but. No, they won't. I started reading it. Like, reading the books you were given? Yeah. That math adds up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck you. So I started reading them. Yeah. Right? And I started applying them in my life. Like really putting them to practice. I'm not kidding you. I'm give, not, me, I'm, give me an example. So like in the six, seven spiritual laws of success. Yeah. Right? One of the uh, laws was, you know. In order to achieve success, you have to help other people achieve success. Correct. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Give so, to get. Right. So what I would do is I would like, you know, set up showcases. Because I had a year with Mitzi. Right. So I would get people, like I brought Bro Brody to the comedy store. I helped Kevin Christie become a stand-up. You know wow. what I mean? And that was all during that time period of like getting them in, you know what I mean, in yeah. front of Mitzi. Or getting him a doorman job. You were, so you were helping people I a lot. was doing ev everything I can to help people. And I'm not kidding you. Yeah. In three months, my whole life changed. Now, have you continued to put those things in practice? Stopped. Right. I stopped. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with that. Because once I got in, I'm like, I, you, once you get in the yeah. water. You're in. You're right. swimming. So I, I'm on the surf, but now I can ride the waves. Yeah, now right? you're riding. So I had to get in the water. But wait till that tsunami comes. Right, and I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're yeah. gonna kill bye. Every, everyone. Bye, Andrew. <laughs> bye, everybody. Yeah, yeah, it'll be gone. But so then, um, so the boils stopped at what point? Right, th right then and there too. When you started helping people, the boils went away. Because what are you laughing at the boils for? That's because, mean. Because the three, you're the, gonna, I'm gonna curse you with boils. Okay. Boily, squirrely. So I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> boily, So I'll tell you the things that happened. So Put boils on you. As soon as I started applying all this stuff, within like a three to six month period, right? Yeah. I got. So I auditioned. So I took a bus, right? I'm not kidding you. I know. So I took a. I had no money. I took a bus to an IBM commercial audition. The one with uh... no. Oh, there was this one where I was a I was a j space astronaut, right? With, okay. this guy, with this guy named Eric Kirchberger from New York. Okay. And so I audition. Then I get a call back. Take another bus. Mm -hmm. And then I get it, I get it and. 
my manager, you know, Abby. Yeah. She calls me. She goes, you got it. And I go, oh, cool. So I thought, how much do you think a commercial is? Well, I, I know. You should ask her because I'm very, I'm very aware of what commercial well, yeah, is. So how much do you think, though? Back then? Yeah. Let's In see. the 90s. In the 90s, was it buyouts? No, it was a national campaign. Right, and you got residuals. It was a national campaign. 100 grand. No. What was it? I got $350,000. Wow. For one day of work. Wow. Because it was, but you didn't get residuals, right? It was a buyout. No, it was a buyout. Right. So I did six of them in one day. Right? You see, so you did six times 350 grand? No, I just got it all at one. But dude, I, going I know. from no money. I know. Going from boils on the face, yeah. stressed out, yeah. right? And then um, a couple of Ro- so Ross, Mark, Ross, and Bob. Ross, I forgot their names. Bob Ross, the painter. No, <laughs> Ross, Mark, and Bob. Something or right? They 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 were bookers for the Tonight Show. Oh, right. And um, one day I was working the back door. This is after the commercial. I was still working at the store. Yeah, but I was gloating. You were bragging a little bit. A lot. You got 350 grand. Yeah, I had gotten a car, you know, that kind of stuff. Now you're right? buying cigarettes that are pre rolled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they came up to me and they go, We work for The Tonight Show. We want you to audition for The Tonight Show. Just from the commercial? No, they were just seeing me around town. Right. Maybe my great deeds was, right? The good thought, deeds so was I paying thought, off. I thought it was like paying off. And then, um, so they, I'm working on that. And then Abby called me and goes, We audition for, it was called Mad TV. The show I was on for eight fucking years. I remember years. now. We, you fucking memorize that? <laughs> yeah. What's it called? Mad TV. What is it called? <laughs> <laughs> right. So then I got then I got mad after that. Wow. And then so it all kind so of So commercial happened. tonight show mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. You had more money in your pocket than you've ever had in your entire life. Yeah, I, I remember moving out of the place I was in and got got a new place. So. First the first thing you bought was a car. Second thing you bought. Well then I told you about the GTI thing that happened. You got a GTI? So what happened was this is how dumb I am. <laughs> this is how dumb I am. So you know who Aaron Cater is? Of course, comic. Yeah. Yeah. So I go, I got some money, but I want to get a car. He goes, cash. He's telling you to buy a car all cash. Yeah. Right. All right. I go, how much? If cars like twenty three thousand, right? If you have twenty thousand in cash, right, you could just get it. Correct. Right. So yeah. I go, all right, let's do it. So I go to the bank. I get cash. You got twenty grand out. Yeah. So I go and I get this GTI. This is gonna drive you crazy. This story. Uh, yeah, I feel it already. Yeah. Then like two or three weeks later, I I lived in Silver Lake on Sanborn and Sunset. Yeah, I know yeah, where it right, is. Right, right. Oh yeah. And it just disappeared. It wasn't there anymore. The car? Yeah. One day disappeared. It just was not there anymore. And what do you think happened to it? I don't know. Let's take a guess. It got impounded. I don't it got know. stolen, probably. Right. I don't know what happened, but. I thought that once you a car is gone, mm-hmm. you just got to go get another one. <laughs> <laughs> so I went back to Aaron. I go, I got to get another it's one. It's not a piece of gum. <laughs> it's like, well, this one's done. I ought to just grab yeah, a new one. Years later, I found out you can call. You know what I mean? The cops. Yeah, I didn't do any of that. Insurance? It was gone. So you went and bought another car. Yes. What was the second one? GTI. You bought the same car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just got twenty grand out, twenty grand again. Yeah, yeah. And no one questioned you because they thought maybe Bobby's on a roll. Uh, yeah. Damn, Bobby, that's so dumb. I so know. you pissed away that three hundred fifty k fast. Oh, it was gone. Fast. Yeah. Is that the fast? I would go to Vegas. Like, I'm, so this is so. I don't know why I'm getting so um, sentimental, but I like it. Uh, yeah, you do. Well, it's Valentine's Day. It's yeah, sweet. Yeah. So, so um. Tell me more. I'll tell you more. So, it got to the point mm-hmm. where. I had to go to Ari Shafir, because then Ari Shafir, right? The Jewish guy, the tall yeah, so Jewish guy? Yeah, so Ari Shafir yeah. started getting <laughs> commercials, and I was running out of money. Yeah. So I went to Ari, I had no money again, because I burned through everything, right? You blew 350. Yeah, and I, and I went up to, you know, and this is still, I'm on Matt TV, but when I was on, they didn't pay you a lot. Can I take a guess? What? It was an episodic rate, right? You're getting paid per episode? No, I still had a deal, but it was like the lowest you could get. It was like something like forty five hundred dollars a week. Oh, it was a weekly thing. Oh, right, 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 right. They don't, they don't pay. That's right. They don't pay you episodes over there, right? Yeah, yeah. So it was just like, and then with taxes and giving your managers age, and managers, agents, yeah, it really wasn't much. Yeah, right. So I remember going up to R and go, "Give me thirty grand. <laughs> Give me thirty grand. Yeah, yeah, or something like that. Did he? Yeah. 
He gave you 30K. Yeah, because I was desperate. But but didn't say I want it back. Yeah, he did. No, but it wasn't. But I didn't pay him for years. He gave you 30K. And then every week, I would have to avoid him, almost. <laughs> right? So when he beat the shit out of me. Uh, yeah, what a night. Right? People think it's because of the Natasha and all that kind of stuff. Right? It's the 30 grand. Deep down inside, I think. Because I remember once he beat the shit out of me the first time. Yeah. I went to the bank because I had the money then. And I gave him the money back. So it was about the money. Yeah. Well, it's a congl- it's a. But then he beat me up tw- two more times, so I don't think so. But that's just a racial thing. Maybe the racial. Yeah, that's maybe the racism. That's because he's racist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's wild to think that it was about the money, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never knew that detail. Upstart! Upstart. Bobby, you ever been in debt? Oh, many times in my life. Me too, and I used credit cards to pay my way through my debt, yeah. which was bad. It was piling, com- compiling. But, but guess what, Andrew? What, baby? Upstart can help you face it and finally pay it off. Yeah? Seriously? You know, you, that's it's it's instant relief. You got multiple credit cards uh, with multiple balances, due dates, wh- you know, all that stuff can be super stressful. Upstart's going to make it easy. One monthly, monthly payment. Monthly payment in one place. One place. It's you super have to simple. go to different places. Nope. Uh, paying off credit cards, consolidating, high interest uh, debt, whatever you got. Look, we all had a tough time last year. People are struggling a little bit financially. We understand. With a five minute online uh, rate check, you can see your rate up front for loans from one grand to 50 grand. Upstart finds smarter rates with trusted partners because they uh, they assess more than just your credit score, right? What's a credit score? The credit score is how you build credit over time. And and sometimes your credit gets That's right. by bad stuff. Maybe you didn't pay off a card on accident. Yeah. Or, you, or look, or people have just unfortunate things that happen to them. We all kind of go into debt, at least in one point in our life. Yeah. Uh, and uh, whether it's paying off those cards or consolidating, Upstart's a fast and easy way to get a personal loan to pay off your debt all online. You can get approved the same day and get received funds as fast as one business day. Hey, man, if, if debt is taking over your life, it's time to get a fresh start with Upstart. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash badfriends. That is upstart.com slash badfriends. Bad Don't forget to use the URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash badfriends. That's upstart.com slash badfriends. Bad friends. Stitch, Stitch fix. fix. I'll tell you something right now. This is my, one of my favorite f- uh, services. Shopping online can be uh, daunting, right? Yeah, yeah. It's hard because you don't so know, we you got, don't know so where to go. So we got a Stitch Fix a package, right? We each got a Stitch Fix package sent Right, to us. and so they go, you know, I, they go choose what you want. And there was a couple of shirts. There was one that was like, um, there will be blood kind of a shirt. Yeah. It's like a button-up br- uh, blue shirt. It was cool. It was really cool. So I go, I want that for sure. Yeah. Right. And then there was a pair of pants I liked. And then the rest, I just kind of put it away, and they sent, you send it back. Send it right back. They, they pick the stuff for you. Yep. Right? And then you you rifle through it. Right. right? And they're usually dead on because you, you fill out a survey, correct? Right. And you just tell them what you like and yeah, what, what you don't you like. like. and what you don't like, right? And then they give you what they think that you're going to like. Right. And generally, they're right. Almost all. Seriously, I I kept almost everything. And you only pay for the stuff that you keep. You yes. don't want it. You just give it right back what to them. What a service. It's easy, man. There's no subscription required. Try Stitch Fix once or set up an automatic delivery. You pay You'll 20 pay bucks. Tw- let me, can I say this part? Go ahead, sorry. You'll pay just a $20 styling fee for each box, which gets credited toward pieces you keep. And there are no hidden fees ever. Yeah, they got great styles of clothing to fit any occasion. Men, women, little bambinos. They ship all over the United States and even in the UK. Oh, hello, hello. Hello, across the pond. Yeah. So uh, Get started today at stitchfix.com slash badfriends, bad and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. Cool. Stitchfix.com slash badfriends for 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. Stitchfix.com slash badfriends. Oh, yeah, boys. My name's Tyler. I'm enough years old, and I'm from Newfoundland. I love the Bad Friends podcast. Bad Friends really changed my life. Yeah, I appreciate you guys a lot. Kickstarting every week off with Bad Friends has been great. I really appreciate everything that you guys have done to keep us all entertained during the fucking apocalypse. You guys really put a smile on my face. You put a smile on face on everyone else. You guys mean so much to me. I love you guys so much. You guys bring it with the realness. You bring it with the honesty and you bring it with the jokes. Congratulations on making it to the one year anniversary of Bad Friends. You guys are fucking hilarious. You guys are the best podcast out there. You guys are hilarious. Um, all you guys from Andrew, Bobby, Jules, Andreas. Not George, fuck George. Don't you think, by the way, saying what you said, if we're going to get serious about yeah. Deepak Chopra, yeah. don't you think you should start doing um, super nice things for other people again and that will increase your luck or no? Well, that's why you're my friend, you know, Alex, the Warzone guy. You're helping him out by helping making him, him get you Yeah, because I don't give him... You know, it's like, you know, he does things for me. And you pay him for them? I pay him for them, but I pay him good. That's not like a good deed. That's just like you employing somebody and overpaying them. A good deed would be like... 
Yeah, I know what good giving, deeds are, you Giving fuck. Fancy B some time off. <laughs> See? He laughs because he needs it so yeah, bad. Yeah. This is him and it could be, <laughs> I well, could really use that time <laughs> off. <laughs> but Georgie Boy, Georgie Boy's having a baby. Yeah, we're going to give, give him some time off. Are we, are we, though? Yeah. Do we do paid paternity leave and all that stuff? No, we don't do that. So he doesn't get paid. Nah. You're not here. You don't get paid. That's yeah, a, yeah. Did, you, did you hear that? But good luck with the baby. All right. I guess I'll be By the way, if you bring that baby in here. Oh, we'll, you know you're going to want to see I want to see it. I want to see the baby. Yeah. I want to kiss the baby. The baby. <laughs> um, Will you bring the baby to the show? Yeah. Can we put it right between us? But speaking of Valentine's Day, um, you know, I, I ordered a ring. Shut up. You did? Mm-hmm. You seriously ordered a ring? Well, I'm talking to a guy. You're going to do it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Is he full of shit? I think he will. Are you being serious? Yeah. I don't know what I don't know how it works. I don't know what to say. This is I'm yeah, going to say I'm going to say works. yes. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I would never ask you. What do you mean? I would never marry you. <laughs> what is the ring for? It's for, for my significant significant other. Oh. You know it's so funny that you say that because Oh, that's cool. Well, no, <laughs> that's funny. It's a funny bit. But, well, then let me fucking have it. All right, but I had a show idea a long yeah. time ago. I think that you and I could do it. What is it? It's called, um, I, forget, I think it was called Cuffed or something. You know what I mean? Okay. And basically, you, you it's a reality show. Okay. You take two guys with polar personalities. Yeah, you handcuff them, and they just have to live with each other for like a month. I would rather, no. I, <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying. Me and you together? Yeah, and you film 24-7. I go to the grocery store with you. We never take that, take it off. We take showers together, right? <laughs> Do we jerk each other off? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's a thing that's I gotta jerk off, right? No, we I have, have to. Co- you have to cover. We the have blanket. to jerk each other. No, off. no, no, no. I would never jerk you off. Come on, cross arms. Uh, yeah, but we're, you know, are you right-handed? I'm ambidextrous. I learned because when I broke my I, when I broke my arm, I learned how to go with my left. Ah. So, Sometimes I throw it in there just when I'm feeling yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, me too. I do that. Yeah, but do, I think that that would be a good show. Cuffed me and you cuffed. Yeah. I mean, it, it's scary. Yeah. It would probably end this show. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, we would. We would be like, this is a fun segment, and then we would do. I it wouldn't and, be believing sleep. Would well, you be able to even sleep? No. <laughs> huh? Me next to you? But also, you'd be up all night. I mean, like, what's your schedule? When are you When are you really going to uh, bed? Obviously, I wouldn't be able to play Warzone at four in the morning with me cuffed to you. <laughs> or maybe I could. I think I could. Well, yeah. it, it would be me. I'd be, it'd be one, my one arm like yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. <sighs> but then I, would, then I would have to do stuff that you'd want to do, like golf. Oh, my God. You Me taking you golfing? You know how bad the fans want to see you go golfing with me? Yeah, but you, um, I was handcuffed, too. Well, you'd be obviously on one, my one, my my left arm that I, I need my one dominant arm. Right. So let's say we're hooked here. So I would have to go around you around like this. Me, and we'd do it together. And do it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do it. Yeah. Actually, if we did a cuffed pitch, I would do it. We should pitch it to Netflix and be like, we're willing to do this. Yeah, but I was thinking about doing it where um, you could do it as a series where other people could do it, too. Maybe it's, it could be, a you know. Like we're cuffed season one. Or you could do it maybe because I think that doing 13 episodes constantly, eventually I would just be dead. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. You would kill, you would kill each other. I would kill you first. Yeah, you'd probably kill me. be dragging around yeah, this just Asian dragging dead this guy. Dead, fat Asian guy, yeah. <laughs> but um, I like cuffed. It's a, it's a, it's a good idea. It's almost like what's that, what's that show um, Wife Swap? It's like that where you take two people that should not be living in the same quarters yeah. all the time. But what would your wife do if you and I are? Cuffed? I mean, they'd have to be cuffed together too. <laughs> that would be that would be fun. And then who do we cuff to Rudy? Yeah, yeah. Who do we cuff to Rudy? Yeah, Rudy. We cuff her to Fancy B. Fancy B. How great would that be? <laughs> they would get along so well. Oh uh, yeah. Just two dorks hanging they out all the time together. Yeah. We're playing a gazebo. Like we found, we found a cure for HIV. Yeah, yeah. Rudy and I have been working diligently on getting satellites to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna you you have a pony coming Sunday. Pony coming on Sunday. That's for the dog. Um, uh-huh. And I've also uh, I've ordered some of the best meats, uh, and I'm gonna cook uh, filet mignon with a mushroom uh, and truffle butter sauce. Do you really know how to make those things? 100. percent That's unbelievable. You come over to the house, man. I watch on a Food Network. I can cook almost anything at this point. How did Valentine's start? What's the origin of Valentine's Day? You don't really know? I really don't. St. Valentino? You don't know him? No. St. Valentino was a an, an Italian explorer. Obviously. Why? He could have been... Valentino. Sent- okay, you got it. Okay. He was an Italian explorer. This is a, actually a true story. I, I, this is a true story. Let me finish. But can I just say this? No, because I have to finish. Okay, go ahead. Tell me this. What are you going to say? 
<laughs> I'm just saying, please be honest because if it's a joke, then I'm gonna have to Google it later. I'm gonna Google it anyway, no right, matter so what then, you say. Yeah. All right, go ahead. I'll just Valentino. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's well, his first name? Marco. Marco Valentino. Yeah, dude. Uh, all right. Okay. Stop questioning me. So Marco Valentino. He went to he, he he went to the government and said, I want to go explore new lands, right? So all these boats are already heading out, right? Ah. Who's heading out of the boats that we know? Colombo. Columbus. Magellan. Yeah. Nostroff. Nostroff. <laughs> <Bop, bop, bop. laughs> yeah. These guys are out there on the seas. <laughs> yeah. Valentino says, I want to go out there. And they said, Valentino, you can't. We, we've already paid for these men to get out at sea. We don't have any more room for you. And he said, well, what if I build my own boat? And they laughed in his face. Right. Right. The government's like, <laughs> Valentino, this guy's going to send you to build his own boat. And they're dying. <laughs> right. He's an idiot. He's poor. Uh-huh. This is a poor cobbler. You know what a cobbler is? Yeah, dude. They make he, apple cobbler. Exactly. He's making apple cobbler shoes. Yeah. Apple cobbler shoes, which is such a bad business. It's such a bad business. But he's doing it. Yeah. It's and he, squishy, the shoes. Squ- yeah. And, they're, and Every they're, time you go, they're done in a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's, so he's a poor cobbler, and he says, I'm going to make the boat out of love. I swear to God, he, so they're now they think he's not only is he stupid, he's crazy. They're like you're dumb and you're insane. He says I'm going to build the boat out of love and watch. And I swear to God, just like your Deepak Chopra story, mm. he would go around to people in the town and offer his heart and love and honesty and say, I want to give new land to the rest of the world and find new places. Will you donate? And his love that he gave to them, they would give to him. The community came together. They built a boat, the love boat. You know the show, the love boat. That's, That's what, what it's, it's based, based on. on. Yep. Valentino set sail. He found a new land, but w- and it was called Love Island. <laughs> this week on MTV's Love Island, three couples. Let me ask you this though. Yeah, I, I believe you. Thank you. Who's Cupid? Who's Who's Cupid? How did Cupid get in there? Is that his name Cupid? Cupid was actually an aborted baby. Oh, that's why they had the angel. That's exactly right. Right. He was aborted. It was Valentino's One first aborted Valentino's baby. Valentino's first aborted babies. <laughs> right. <laughs> And the arrow that yeah. he's he's trying to kill. He's trying to kill Valentino for for for, for, for abort- aborting him. him. Yep. You know what I mean? Because he made his girlfriend yeah. get an abortion. Yeah. I would have liked life, fucker. Yeah. And 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 by the way, his aggression, because the baby is doing that, yeah, yeah. it turns into a love arrow. Shit. Because, because God doesn't allow that Fuck, from angels. Fuck, man. See? It all makes sense. Is that real is that close? Very close. Great. Really? Yeah. What's so, the real story? Do you so have, no, do you here, have here, it? Here's what I'm going to say to you, yeah. Andy. Yeah. Andrew, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it really, because when I s- talk about you at home, yeah, at the house. I call you Andy. Andy did this, or, you know what I mean? Oh, we got to go see Andy, you know, like today. Yeah. We got to go see Andy. And yeah. it's just like, I had a cousin named Andy. Yeah, I know. I know your cousin. Yeah, Andy. and um, we promoted his product on this show one time. That's Paul. They're all the same. Okay. And, um,. It just Andy's a cuter com- comical name. You don't like when I call you Bob, though. But that's my name. Your name is Bobby. It's a Lee. version of my name. All right, you you can call me whatever you want. I am, and that's why I keep doing it. What can we call her? By the way, Rudy. You know, Jules, you know, you know I, 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 people I, I, don't even know why your name is Rudy. They don't get it. Yeah. yeah. And and if you weren't sticking around, for, if you weren't that early on in the pod, then you're I, never going to know. You know what's going to drive her crazy if you call her? What? Call her, honey. Because <laughs> that's her mo- mom's name. All right, honey. See, oh, it makes you, <laughs> she doesn't like it. it. Fuck it. When I call her honey at home, yeah, she goes, "It's Juliana." <laughs> she gets angry. Do you get really actually upset? No. You love your mom because you know why. As yeah. she gets older, Juliana, you're gonna. But look, she, he you says get... I'll be fat like my mom. Well, you might. <laughs> <laughs> you keep stuffing your you face with I that balloon. That? Yeah. Yeah. I say that you're gonna. You're getting fat like your mom. You will be fat like my mom. Is your mom fat? Yeah. <laughs> How big? How fat yeah. though? Really? She's not that fat. She's thick. Chubby. Chubby, but chubby. But she, chubby's but if great. If you look at photos of Honey, they look exactly alike. As a young person, she was skinny. Is she? Was she not? Yeah, she was really skinny. Right. So I'm just. It's. I'm just giving you. I'm warning you. You start e- eating the dumplings. What does she eat that <laughs> makes ramen. that? What's she, what's gonna make her fat? Do you think? I think the ramen. So I bought like. How many times a day are you eating? Um, breakfast and dinner. No lunch. No. She's not getting fat. Yeah. No, but she eats a lot of junk. Yeah. Like what? Like one time I, I, I walked into her room and she and she was eating McDonald's. 
What what's your what's your McDonald's order? I think we went over this last time. Yeah. Um <laughs> um chocolate sundae chicken and nuggets yeah, yeah. chicken nuggets and hamburger and a hamburger yeah. that's a good that's good that is so good she's eating a little mcdonald's and you're swagging your finger at her you're going hey you're gonna get fat yeah I mean, why are, why are you worried about her f- weight because she's my daughter yeah but let her get fat no i you then know, you have more material it, it, <laughs> juliana i have to say that i have you know um parental feelings towards you you know and you treat me like garbage no you don't i don't you treat me good yeah i care you never you know you don't i'll tell you why you don't care because who does do i do conversations with you with you not involved in the conversations yeah yeah so i'll go like this we'll be in the living room (laughs) right because she doesn't say anything to me right yeah So, so i'll just go yeah i'm pretty good yeah this morning my back hurt a little bit and um and she'll just be cooking something like making ramen or something. Right. And she's not a- saying anything. And I'm just answering questions that I wish she would ask me. <laughs> right. You know she's I mean? sitting there just stirring yeah, a pot. Yeah. You know, but yeah, as I get older, you know, I have, you know, other dreams. She's like, and she'll just be cooking. <laughs> you don't these... pay any mind to him? No, I say good morning to Bobby. But you don't, you don't, you don't, you're not really engaged about his life. No. You don't care, right? No. Right. <laughs> That's honest. That's, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Are you doing something for Valentine's Day? No. Has a boy on the internet asked you out for Valentine's Day? No. All right, if you're lying, we'll find out. <laughs> I'm not lying. Are guys still hitting on you on the Instagram? Who? The direct messages. Any, any yeah, you were, you, we found out you were getting DMs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I don't talk to them. You don't? Any of them? No. Rudy? Swear to God? <laughs> yeah. Rudy? I promise. Okay. Okay. Because she's starting sc- now, they're going in room classes now. So I'm letting her have my car. Wait, seriously, they're doing in school? Yeah, yeah, in about a month, right? Yeah. For for how much longer? When did, when did, when is school done? In 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 June. in June? Oh, really? Yeah. Why did I think we were earlier than that? April or May or what something? What is this, Aaron? What what is, what is this? Is this the is this the real definition of Valentine's Day? From February 13th to 15th, the Romans celebrated the feast of Lup- 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 Lupercalia. Never mentioned that in your story. The men sacrificed a goat and a dog. Yes, I did. And then whipped whipped women with the hides of the animals they had just slain. What? Whoa, we should do this. Uh, you get to hit wait, somebody wait, you love in, with Zoom a... in of closer, please, because my eyes are fucked. From, zoom in closer. There okay. it is. From February 13th okay. to the 15th. So from February 13th to the 15th, the, the Romans celebrated the Feast of Lupercor. The men sacrificed goat and a dog then whipped women with hides of the animals they had just slain what the fuck and the roman romantics were drunk they were naked says it's, noel lensky young was, women would, would actually line up uh, line up for the men to hit them the women would get in line to get hit with the hides of animals they believed this would make them fertile wow we gotta say this to chicks today i know the brutal feat included matchmaking lottery which young men drew the names of women from a jar the wow. couple would then be um, coupled for the duration of the festival or longer if the match was right. So you just, this is a, like a key I would, party. I would draw a fucked up name. Yeah. Like, ah, fuck Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Get you over would, here. You, you would get like someone hot. Yeah. yeah, yeah I get yeah. a supermodel. Yeah. The ancient Romans may also be responsible for the name of the modern day of love. Emperor Claudius II executed two men both named Valentine after my story. Mm-hmm. On February 14th of different years in the third century AD, their martyrdom was honored by the Catholic Church with the celebration of St. Valentine's Day. Whoa, so nothing that you said. No, no, this is what also was happening while I was saying what yeah, I said. Yeah, but this is the important stuff. Why would you leave off this stuff? Well, because this, well, yeah, you're right. I wanted this to be found after I told you the original story. Yeah. It's pretty impressive, though. Yeah. Used to, they used to beat women with the hides of dogs. So what do you? How do you make a hide? You kill a dog first. Skin it. You skin it. You dry it out. Dry it. Skin it. Right. And then you. What? what oh. It's used so, as like an area rug or a carpet. Yeah. And then how do you? You roll it up and you hit somebody with it. Yeah. Roll it and smack it, baby. You what? never heard of roll and smack? You don't no, know. No, that? I don't know about roll and smack. It's so it was like a yoga mat, <laughs> yeah. but, it, but, but for beating women. <laughs> yeah, it was a yeah, yoga yeah, mat. Yeah. yeah. Instead of yeah, you'd roll it up like a yoga mat. Yeah, like it. Yeah. Hit a woman. <laughs> Right, and then, um, why why can't they use a stick? Sticks were so it was just like you know. <laughs> what do you mean sticks were? There was wasn't as many trees back then. <laughs> no, the trees have come as time has gone. Or isn't whips made from hide? A switch of a whip is made from a hide. Leather. Yeah, leather. Yeah, right? that's the same so make thing. Make a whip, yeah, but it takes a long time. 
Oh. With this way, you you skin the dog. You already got your your you know your rolling beat. Yeah. I you know I, I are you into S and M or I thought about stuff like that. Look, did we buy a harness? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. My biggest fear about all that stuff is murder, because what if like somebody takes it too far? Yeah. I, every time I see it, I'm like, what if you hit someone and not, and hurt them and kill them? Yeah. How do you explain that to your family? Imagine you calling Kalila's family. We were I got just a- playing around. We were just playing around. She was tied up. But why did she have a ball gag in her mouth? And and she had so many things stuffed into her anus. It's, it's, the ball gag was the size of a ping pong ball. We didn't think that it was going to do anything. Yeah, yeah. But all the things you put in her anus. What was all that? I, marshmallow toothpicks. Yes. Yeah. Also, something was on fire sticking out of her anus. M80. Why would you do that? I don't know. I like the sound <laughs> of kaboom. Could you imagine you'd have to explain to somebody how the, you, you, if S&M accidents happen, I'm sure, you're hanging people from the ceiling. You're tying them up. Yeah, but what, uh, what's the pleasure, though? The punishment is the pleasure. These like, are... I'm tied up. Right. Right? A woman's whipping me. She's in leather. Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> and it hurts. Oh, God, yeah. Right? It's like, ah! Right? What about the women that step on guys? They step on their balls. That's oh, a re- yeah. Guys love it. They kick them in the balls. But I think it's because I think the guys get off on it because they like to be submissive. And sometimes the women, they they want this dominant. I control you because men are so controlling. Or, or or when the guy or the guy is like in a baby, like in a bib. Feed me. Yeah, feed me. And right, and they're being in a chain, <laughs> right? And they're crawling around. Right. You're right. It's like, and then the next thing you know, they're working at an office. These people are in HR. Right. These are normal accounts. They're out working, right? And yeah. at home. Go, 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 go. You're, uh, Do you guys know that today is your anniversary too? This is our 52nd episode. Oh my God, it's our one year. One year anniversary. Oh my of God. This, of the pod. We did a year. There's one year of the pod. Are you kidding me? Wow. You and I have been talking for that long. For a year. Well, we've been talking longer than that. We've known each other significantly longer. I know, but we, but we never really knew each other. We know each other as well as anybody knows each other in comedy. I know, but that's nothing. It is, and it's supposed to be that way. I know. I, I went to your birthday party once, I guess, at the bowling alley. You did, and I went to your birthday party. And then party. we did some sketches together. Yes, we did. We, no, we did some stuff. Yeah, we did some stuff. Yeah, but yeah, in yeah. comedy, it's hard to, to, to get really in-depth with people. You know why? why? You're so hungry hustling for your own... This is what people don't know, and we talk too much business sometimes, but yeah. what people don't understand is like, when you say you put in years of work, when I say we put in years of work, they all are kind of like, yeah, whatever. They don't understand Yeah. that you're like 10 hours a night it's not even that though. It's and ten hours a day, and then the four hours that you're supposed to have to yourself. You're panicking about why you can't make money and make rent, and how many other gigs you need to do to make sure it's all going to work out. And who doesn't like me? Why can't I get booked to this thing? And how did it's it's never ending. But when you show up to at a so it's hard to make relationships. When you're young, point. right? Yeah, you have to imagine that everybody wants to make it. That's what I'm saying. Everybody will cut your throat. Yes, to get ahead. Yeah, right. So you're in this environment, right? Where you're, tr- but also you have to play nice. Well, you have to, you have to be Surfacely. a decent, nice human. You have to go. Good set. You did good. You did good. That was funny. You're gonna go places, right? <laughs> but then, right, they talk shit about you. They slash you behind your back. Of course, right. And you have to, you have to navigate all this fucking bullshit. Right. And then, like I remember one time when, when Mitch Hedberg shot his first special Comedy Central, on Comedy Central. Yeah, I was there. Were you really? Yeah, I was there. The one that he bombed? Yeah, where he bombed. He was terrible. It was bad. I remember how bad. And he made fun of how bad it was yeah, the yeah, whole time. Yeah, so I was there. and wow. But for me to... But I was there because I begged 10 people, right? Right. And to even get in into that place. And then I was like, you know what I mean? Just backstage. I didn't know anybody. Right. And nobody knew me. People would walk by. Like Norm MacDonald was there. And people... And I was just like... No one knows me. I beg to get here. Right. And I can't mingle. I don't know who to talk to. You're just kind of stagnant. Right. And, and you leave and you go home and you're like, that was worthless. You yeah. know what I mean? And you just never know how to make it. Yeah. How do you make it? And then that's why you have to fight. You have to fight the whole time. And then years later, you just, you just kind of realize, oh, I know what the key, the key is this. You just don't stop. You, well, you got to be talented. <laughs> no, you have to be. But there's a lot of guys. I can tell you 10 guys right now that are super talented that haven't made it, and they've been around for a long time. So what's the problem with them? It, it's just it, it look. you got to have a look. 
it, that has a lot to do with it. Yeah, like you've got a look, and yeah. I and I have a look. And we do. No, we, we do. Stand out. That's right? my point. Yeah. I think that our personality. It's not a and good. We're comedy, not good looking. I know, but our characters are kind of chiseled out. We, you know, we we know what we are. Yeah, it's very obvious. It's obvious. You yeah. Know? And so, you know, like when I go in to an audition, it's like I know generally they know what they're getting. Yeah, this is what they want, right? Yeah. So it's like, and a lot of it has to do with timing. It's a lot of time. It's harder for white guys now. Is it? Yeah. It is, isn't it? It's so hard. They don't. It's, they don't so, want us in terms of acting, comedy. It's just hard. It you can tell by you know, um, I, I'm going to say this. A, a couple of new faces ago in, in at Montreal. Yeah, right. I remember hearing a couple of managers and agents going, "This it's the end of comedy because now they're choosing people to tick a box instead of by how box, funny they are." Right. Right. So they have to have the fat black guy. They have to have the Asian guy. They have to have six women. They have to have instead of going you Who's know, the ha- funniest? Yeah, comedy merit. But what if the fat black guy and the Asian woman and all that stuff, what if they are very funny? They just didn't get a chance to get shown. But still That's another side the of the funnier it too. white guy should get in. The funnier the funniest people should get in, period. Yeah. Right. But that doesn't necessarily mean that um so, so some of those check marks won't be checked. Sometimes they if you went through if you based it on just talent and the room and work ethic and, and, all, and all that stuff, some some checks mark. Uh, you know, you don't, you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah, and you also want to be probably the top Asian dog for a while. What do you mean? And I shouldn't use Asian and dog in the same. But I mean, you want to be the top guy for a while because you want to be. You don't want an, another couple of young Asians creeping up on you. Uh, they're already there. I know, but I'm saying it's a little. It's a weird, huh? No, it's not. Because you were kind of holding your own for a long time. <laughs> I know. And Joel Kim Booster is... Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah? yeah? There was a time, yeah. No, there's some guys that are creeping up right now. No, some the, very funny I, Asians. I love what you're trying to do. No, I'm no, serious. No, no, no. No. There is a... Do you know why? Yeah. Do you know why no? Why no? Because of the fact that I'm old. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. And you can't take away the age. things I've done. Right. You can't take away age. Right. Experience, I mean. Not experience. It's just like... In terms of the relationships I have right. and the things that I've carved out. And I did a lot of firsts. You know what I mean? So a lot like, of people owe you favors. That's awesome. No, that's a, tr- that's a fact. You've, made a, you've cultivated a lot of relationships. And you've let a lot of people down as far as what you've given them. <laughs> but they owe you. Have I gotten my fucking role on Magnum P.I. or not? I'm going to get it. Because we watched it the other night because of you. I put it on Instagram. Yeah. You and the washing machine. Can I do your scene? Uh, what? Can I do your okay, scene? I'm going to say this. You be Jay, and me, I'll be you. Me, all right, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. All right, you're Jay Hernandez. I don't know what his, I don't know what the, his lines were, but... Yeah, man, make it up like we do on the show about everything. All right, fuck you, all right. Yeah. Hey, Jim, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Oh, what's his name? Jim. No, your name. Jim, that's why I just said it. I'm yeah. Magnum. Yeah, I'm Jim. Yeah, so go, hey, Jim, what are you doing? Right, okay, sorry. Hey, Jim, what are you doing? Magnum, what are you doing here? Oh, um, I don't know, but what are you doing in that... In the, in the, the laundry? <laughs> oh my god you're making me so angry right now why i don't know why that's the scene yeah, yeah laundry yeah yeah uh looks like you're doing more than laundry no and then does he open it is that what happens yeah he opens it so he yeah, opens it and yeah. then it's money you yeah. see it's money yeah yeah and i go oh no yeah and you say it's money and you're you're laundering money no i'm not <laughs> how about this I fucking hate and you. then you go and then you go yeah and then you say something to the effect of uh yeah it's a couple of side gigs. What's a little bit of hustle? Yeah, you yeah. want to get in on it? Yeah, it's yeah. not that big of that a deal. Type of thing, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he says, "What?" Magnum yeah. says, yeah. "Clean up your act, Jen." Yeah. George and I were uh, celebrating your anniversary, and we reached out to a lot of like celebrities to who are are you serious? Huge fans of the show. Oh, really? oh wow! This is I great. like that. And Let's they just send us a few a few messages for you guys. Okay, that's great. If they're not real celebrities, I'm going to be so... Good afternoon, this is John Cleese. I'm sure you know this because you aren't buffoons. A life without love is simply like the moon without stars, flowers without a smell, a sky without sun, or in your case, a podcast without comedy. Happy anniversary. Wow. That's an impressionist. (laughs) Anyone can do that. So we're calling them out? Are we going to call them out? Frank Caliendo did that. Who did that? Who did that? John Cleese? John Cleese. That was John Cleese. Yeah, also, he didn't say Hello. our names. Okay. 
Go ahead. This is Morgan Freeman. I just want to tell you boys, you're an addiction I never want to get over. I hope to spend every Valentine's Day of our lives together. That's Morgan Freeman. We got a lot of good celebrity friends. Who else hit us up? For millions of years, man has been searching for a podcast David that Attenborough. fill its hearts with joy and love. I dare say you boys have done it. Next time I'm in town, let's show each other our mating dances. Is that you? This is David Attenborough. Okay, give me another one. <laughs> None of these are me. McConaughey here. Hope you boys find love. That's Matthew. Not only in people, but also in everything you do and everything around you. That actually sounds like him. And look around you. Yeah, I want to know who the impressionist I'll wait. is. You see everything around you? You see the walls. Maybe there's a table. There's some things on the table. <laughs> Just pick up something. Hold it in your hand. Okay. Feel it Let's in feel your it. fingers. Hmm. Love that. Okay. They're not specific. <laughs> all you need. Be specific. Uh, Andrew Santino. Don't say boys. Say Bobby, Andrew Santino, bad friends. You know, something like that that, that, that narrows it down. Yeah. You know what I mean? What? So well, who's, is there more? One more. Oh, wow. We got so many celebrity buds that they're love not. us. These are all real. They're not. Yeah, they I had to call you boys. I mean, wow. I really had to I call you. I want Christopher Walken. This is the fucking bad friends. He loves this show. That I have a fever. And the only prescription is more bad friends. Can you send that to me in pill form? Or maybe a suppository? I could shove it up my ass. Call me back. Ciao. That's great. Is that oh. an app? Yeah. It's an app. I don't know. What is that, you guys? It's a lot of your celebrity friends. No, it's not! <laughs> it's not! Be <laughs> honest with me! <laughs> Who did that? Well... George and I send uh, the podcast to a lot of celebrities, mm. and those are the five who actually watch it wow. and like it. That's pretty cool that those guys actually watch the show. Yeah. I can't believe you don't give them credit. Thank you. <laughs> we have a lot of messages from... Let's play a couple of messages. real or what? Let's see if from they... Co- fans. Oh, we have fan like, messages? Yeah. All right, let's hear fans. What's up, Andrew? Bobby... Woody, oh. Jules, Andrade's, and George. Andrade's. It's me, George. I wanted to thank you guys for, you know, 52 weeks of bickering and banter and love. Uh, you guys literally give me the energy and inspiration to fucking plow through every day at full force, like a freight train. I'm down 60 pounds now. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. For BMI surgery. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my God. You know, I should you know what that is? Skinny yeah. Yeah. Stapled and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys some fucking tremendous love from Kankakee, Illinois, buddy. Kankakee. Oh, oh, what a nice guy. Hey, what's up, Bobby and Andrew? Uh, my name is Alex, and just wanted to give you guys a quick thank you. Obviously, with 2020 being the train wreck as it was, um, your podcast could not have come along at a better time. I mean, with all the, the negativity and hate and everything going around. Scratching his asshole. Right um, what, what, what? Really was much needed comic relief. And to Scratching his asshole. Hour, that's <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's So you guys and everybody at the team, that's really good. Fancy B and George, that's uh, really work nice. is much appreciated. Clever. Keep the content coming. It's clever. Uh, thanks very much for everything, guys. So I like very, that guy. Very clever. He's from Chicago. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says content. Thanks for the content. Andrew, Bobby, Jules, George, Fancy B, what up? I'm Rocom. I made the intro music for the show. There it is. Um, it's okay if you guys cut this out and don't use it. All right, we're, no, we're, we're going to cut it. it. We're, we're going to cut it. How much I appreciate the we'll show cut it. Uh, for letting me be a <laughs> tiny part of it at the beginning of each episode. Aww. It's been a year, and I think that's insane. And you guys are so huge. Like, I can literally talk to anyone now and say, oh, I made that intro music for this podcast, and they know what I'm talking about. Very cool. You guys are killing it. And I can't wait to see what the future brings. I'm um, about to cry. Don't Shit's cry. Funny, it's really I watch nice. Watch every Monday, and I love it. That's my boy. That's nice. Brocom's a shit. I like it more. I like it. You like this? Making you yeah, touching yeah, you in a good yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like this, Bob. There are hey, other people that friends, look like you. Uh, Bobby, Andrew, Jules, Andres, the behind-the-scenes producers that are remote, um, and no one else. Fuck you, Pink Dick. 
This guy's awesome. Exactly. I love him. meant a lot to me this year. I uh, play it during online classes to procrastinate work, and it's really a big deal to me to see another uh, weird, mutant, freak, redheaded person making it big time. Yeah, baby. You know, it's kind of like... <laughs> There's hope. How Bobby must have felt when he first saw, like, Enter the Dragon. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you. Bye. It's great, dude. My kid has a good sense hey. of humor. I love it. <coughs> Enter the Dragon. Little Asian joke. We got to throw a couple uh, in there. As redheads, it's, it's part of our thing. Yeah. And Rick Glassman again, making an appearance on our <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's really lit, Andrew's really lit, Rudy's really lit, and it's just fun to watch sometimes. Oh, well, I like great. that guy. I like that guy a lot. Short and simple. And the, blah, 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 yeah, the yeah, lips was, was really, really cool. Good. That was really good. Happy anniversary to two of my favorite comics in the world. Yay. I listen to you guys. I mean, fuck. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Uh, while I brush my teeth, while I cook dinner, my roommate thinks I'm an absolute psychopath. Um, because I, I blast you guys' conversations throughout the apartment. Love it. Um, some of it may be a little controversial, but it sure as fuck makes me laugh. Do we say controversial stuff on this? No yeah, like the, uh, Robert E. Lee stuff we did uh, earlier. That's good stuff. How much you've, you've helped me uh, this year throughout the pandemic. It's been rough out there. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> Aww. See, there are good looking redheads. She's cute. There's some good looking redheads Pretty on this cute. earth. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. I told you we got some in that. We yeah. have some in the stable. Yeah, yeah. Also, I want to say this as a very serious note. Thank you to our fans. We really do appreciate it. It's our year anniversary, and this has meant a lot to us. Probably as, as, as much as it's meant to you guys, it does, we love it. And, uh, you know, it, here's what, I, here's awesome. what I want to say sincerely is um, that, you know, sometimes, because, you know, the studio is just down the street from our house. It's a mile from our home. So we just kind of get in the car and we drive here. Yeah. And you think you're doing... Because I don't go out, so I don't really know... What's going on. Really what's going on and what the reaction really is. Because, you know, we don't go on the road and they, right, we don't, I don't meet everybody. You can't feel it. In the last, you know, we don't feel it. So it's like... Um, so you kind of feel like you're doing it in a vacuum, you know? Yeah. And um, But when you get messages like this, you realize that people do listen to it. Um, I don't know why. Because they love it. I know, but I'm just, you know, I have to ask. Don't that. do that again. I do know why. It's magic. It's magic, baby. Hey. So we thank you. We thank you so and much. And Rudy wants to thank you as well. Rudy? Say something. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Oh, my God. This Happy fucking... anniversary. No. no she, this, Be sincere. This idiot gets off a fucking boat. Knows three words in English. And we she's get her a job. An internet superstar. Yeah, and she's an internet superstar. And that's what she comes up with. Be sincere. Say I so am. No, say something more. Say more. Thank you. Thank you again. She starts with thank okay. you. Okay. For. If you say being a bad friend. Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you for always. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Listen. Fucking finish it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're gonna talk uh, for two minutes. Yeah, you gotta yeah, talk. Fill in the fucking dead air. Fill in the dead two air. Two minutes. Let's go. go. Thank you for for supporting the podcast. Thank you for listening to us, even if it's stupid. Okay. Thank you for. You don't have to say thank you. Yeah. Just uh, say your heart. Yeah, your heart. Go ahead. I love coming here so much. The boys treat me better than I ever could have expected. Back where I come from, all I had was one balut a week to eat, and now here I eat every day anything I want. So thank you to the fans, to America, and to Donald Trump. This is the greatest country. Keep moving, keep your, moving lips. your lip. This is the greatest country on earth. Make America great again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got you saying that on tape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Rudy, and on um, January 6th, I went to the Capitol. <laughs> and I, um, I had my bat and I had my confederate flag <laughs> and I tried to bash in the window but I'm so weak so I went just to the front door and went in I said hey well Nancy Pelosi office I'm gonna hang her <laughs> you mean I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble but no one did nothing so I'm back here doing bad friends thank you for being a bad friend that's great <laughs> yeah. thank you for being, being a, a bad, bad friend, friend.